Ah, a beautiful, beautiful day, isn't it? Yep, part of a grand new era. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. I just realized that my OBS hotkey is... But, yes, that was just the start recording hotkey. I need to reassign that to something else in the future, though. So, as I am applied, we are in a new era now. Yes, whole new line of quests. So, we have a couple of options for which path we want to take going up the tree. We have a designer's workshop, which is going to require more machine frames. Which is going to require... That's... I, I think I've had enough of that for the moment. <clears throat> we have these coke bricks, which are a nice, relatively simple craft for once. Yeah, we just need sandstone. Which... Huh, raw sandstone chunks. But yes, that is just a simple matter of compacting some sand. So that is significantly easier. And easiest of all, we have a gear cast. Which, yeah, we can... Now, I'm not quite sure which way it wants us to make the gear, because all the gears right now are unfamiliar items, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So it would be a little bit hard to get these items in the actual smeltery. But I think I've thought of a way to cheat the system. See, if I can take one of my hoppers over here and just put it on the table itself, I may not be able to put a gear in my hand because they're unknown to me. But, I don't need to put it in my hand. All I need to do is jump on up there and flop it down into the hopper. And yep, there it goes. And that should get us an easy peasy gear cast. I'm not sure what the intended way is. Because, as far as I know, there's no other means of getting gears right now. I think in order to get these gears... I would have to go down into the abyss. Oh, what? There should be a quest in here asking us to go, but there isn't. But yes, I, I'm guessing that maybe gears won't be known to me until I go down into the abyss to retrieve the, uh, the new books of this age. But uh, yeah, we can we can kind of skip that and just get us a gear cast regardless. For all the good it'll do us when we don't understand gears. Yeah. Huh. Interesting that it gave me a loot chest instead of just, you know, the loot. Uh, oh, I remember something. Yes. The chief questmaster was waiting on us to get the engineer's workshop before he would give us a new quest, wasn't he? Uh... Good. These are progressing. So are these. Eh, I'll wait a little while longer until they're all ready. I should probably also bone meal the pumpkin stalks just to get them growing a bit faster, but eh. Waste of bone meal. Are there any good merchants today? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, hello, Mr. Viking. You are very welcome. Yes, Amulet of Skull and Hati. And I'm not sure what the Amulet of Yggdrasil does. I'll just have one. Yes, this is a very useful amulet. It allows us to control the very day and night around us. Just switch it to nighttime. Just switch it back to daytime. I think I switched it back to daytime. Yeah, this is sunrise. No, that's off to sleep. Well, regardless, we now have the ability to mess with time, so if we're out and about in a dangerous area, we can simply flip the time. Yeah, this is this is turning into nighttime. Well, let's flip it the old fashioned way since the amulet is being a little bit weird. What does this do? 
nothing that I can discern, and its texture looks to be a bit displaced. Neat. So, Chief Questmaster, have you found the entrance to the hidden cavern yet? Uh, I'll just say yes. Good. Well, I guess all I have to say is good luck and go explore the cavern. Is there anything in the town records explaining what's in the hidden cavern? I'm not sure. Why don't you go explore the hidden caverns and I will dig through the town records and see if I can find out anything. Okay, okay. Neat. So now the quest is petroleum-infused ingot, which is the end of this age, almost. So it'll be a little while before he has anything more to say. Those archives must be very extensive. Just have to do a nice deep dive. Ah, they're, st they're going to upgrade the fort again. Let's get that going. I'm all for that project. And also another thing I need to do right now before I forget is because we have entered a new age, Awesome Dash should have some new equipment for us. Yeah. Wetsuit parts, high capacity O2 tank, rebreather, reinforced diving mask. Uh-huh. Reinforced O2 tank. Yeah. I have. Yeah. Okay. Now... I know that this gives you more armor, but I don't know if it has the rebreather effect on it. And in any case, it's just one more armor. It doesn't really make... yeah, it's not a huge deal. Well, first of all, let's get our money out because I actually need it for her. So, I'm not going to waste 16 gold on one armor. I will, however, waste 16 gold on... wait... 900 seconds longer, 1,000 seconds longer, but grants more protection. Two armor more. Eh. Is that worth 16 gold? Eh, da, 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 da. No, not when I'm low on lives. Not when I am low on lives. So yes, it is just very slightly... Very, very slightly different colored, but it has much more time. And more importantly, because we have a rebreather now, when we go down into the crushing depths of the deeper abyss, no longer will our oxygen go down faster. So that 900 seconds is now actually 900 seconds. Yeah. That's huge. I'm kind of tempted to go down into the abyss, honestly. Because I'm itching to get those books in order to fully understand what's possible for us right now. All the things that are unknown to me are kind of driving me nuts. I don't like not having all my options in front of me. Okay, I think the big thing we're waiting on in order to do a trip to the Abyss is I'm going to need more jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, that's that's the thing to wait on, is I'm going to need proper lights or to go down there. Or I'm going to need a source of night vision. Well, I happen to know that there's a sneaky way to get access to a potion brewing stand. But do I have access to golden carrots? That would take a chef workstation with seed oil. Seed oil is going to take... Is going to require the carpentry tool. So I need to go... Oh. I'm overheating. Huh. Yes, I would need to go down into the abyss in order to get the thing that would help me go into the abyss. And ain't that just how life goes. Hmm. So, do we need to take our Tinder down? It must be that, um, along with entering a new era, we've entered a new season. Yes, I think Tough as Nails has, uh, 
over time the seasons will shift. So we must be in summer right now. So I guess let's take our heating system down. I guess that's one argument for not burying it under the base out of sight. Is that as the seasons shift every, like... I, I forget if it's like a hundred days or something. As the seasons shift, we will need different temperature modifications in our base. Hmm. Alternately, it could just be that the new armor I'm wearing has some sort of insulation. That could be it, too. I do not know. I do not know why I was suddenly suffering hyperthermia. Okay, okay. Um, so, go into the abyss? No. Need to wait on pumpkins. Let's go harvest the farmer's field, too. I want at least a stack of jack-o'-lanterns so I can search a good area of the abyss. So that will wait. I should probably pour out the blood bank. Hmm. Um, I guess that means I should start working on the scribe's workstation then. Because that's the other qu Well, no, I could start working on a coke oven. I could start working on a coke oven. Also, I believe I have access to pollution filters now, don't I? No, I don't have access to pollution filters yet. Really? Pollution... No, I do. Oh, it's just called a diamond filter. Okay. So that's four blocks of diamond, 12 iron bars, and a bunch of wool. I don't see anything that's unattainable there. Yeah. Okay. And if we start building filters, then that means it's time to actually build an enclosure in our base in order to in order to actually filter our 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 pollution up into said filter in order to force it up. So, yeah. It might be time to actually decorate the dang base. Okay. Why not, you know? Okay. So. We need to figure out what we want to build the base out of. And what we want to build the base out of is something cheap. Something that's easy to get. Let's switch to tank set. Actually, wait, can I make a redstone block? Any which way? Yeah, nine dust in a compacting. Oh, I actually have my dust out now. Let's let's see if this works. This should make it moderately easier to get dressed if it does work. So just take that up, put that down, down with you, and then I should be able to shift click. Nope, that's not working. Never mind. I could swear that armor stands had a behavior where if they were receiving a redstone... Eh, never mind. Never mind. Maybe it's a different armor thingy that I'm thinking of. Hmm. Regardless. Let's put on our full tank set just in case we do something with the lighting system. And let us go and start digging up our current mining target. Because digging up these ships is probably how we're going to want to source our construction materials. Yeah, these hundreds of factory blocks are the easiest material that we have access to. And there's a couple of other nice materials on the ship we can use. There's a little bit of red glass. There's, of course, all the metal blocks. 
there's a little bit of asphalt, which might be an interesting thing to build a floor out of. I'm not going to use the hammer for that. I'm just going to... Well, no, we can use the hammer. There we go. Yeah. Now, this isn't nearly enough asphalt. I would have to go to multiple ships in order to get enough. Can I chisel the different colors of concrete, forgive me, not asphalt? Can I chisel them into each other? No. I can just chisel some certain patterns into it. Well, yes. The fun thing about concrete is it makes you move faster when you're on it. So if I can get enough to build a floor for my base out of this stuff, then that might be pretty smexy. Yeah, when I say this thing is a mining target, I mean this thing is a mining target. Just pick up all the goodies. And let's pick a wall and start to tear this thing down, I suppose. Ah, yes, we need to get up onto the top and move our way down. That would be easier. There we go. Yes, don't get too excited. I think those are just Futura blocks. That's not, in fact, a uh, ME controller that you're seeing glowing there. It's just a very convincing replica. Really wish I had a magnet of some type. Is there any... I guess there's this magnetic glove. Oh no, that doesn't do what I would hope it would do. Hmm. Nights are burning hot. Night Days are burning hot. Nights are freezing cold. Isn't the weather lovely? There, that's going a bit faster. Yeah, we even get the we even get the glass nice and easy. I should have brought some tinder with me in order to lay down a nice recovery area. Let's get rid of this stupid siding. I should turn F7 mode on. Yes. Unfortunately, it sounds like that also turned into an OBS hotkey, which I need to reassign. And I need to get myself some more. Ah, yes, and we're already full up. Just because there's so many different types of blocks, though. We can compress that down a little bit. Like, those factory blocks... Those factory blocks. Yeah. And let's compact the Futura blocks down too. So no, there's not as many different blocks as you think there were. They're just different variants of the same thing. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. Well, back to base we go simply because we are out of heat. And thankfully we can swim there very, very fast. And pick up some precious life-giving tinder. Eat some precious life-giving tripes. And just stop ourselves from freezing to death. So, 
how do I want to use all these? I, I guess for a start, I should start placing down the concrete. If I've decided that's to be my flooring. You know what? Let's be a little bit cheeky. If I can... Well, first of all, in case I need it, can I manufacture this anyway? No. Not really. I guess I can make concrete powder. But no, I don't have a recipe for it. So. Let's... No, that's probably not enough. I'll just make patterns out of the black, and I'll throw out the yellow. Yep, that is what I will do. Yep. God damn, hypothermia. Is it, is it raining right now? Is that the problem? Yeah, it's raining. Stupid weather. Come on. Let's grab a couple of tinder to take over to the construction site. This is another reason, of course, that we want to build a roof already. So that the rain will no longer take us from hyperthermia to hypothermia. If my theory was right about this being an insulated suit, then maybe it'll help too. Maybe. But yeah, once I have the edges filled in, it'll be a matter of, like, uh, dig out a row and then just kind of run along it and fill it in. So it'll be much faster to construct. Hmm. I'm hovering right around hypothermia point. But let's turn it to daytime. That'll help, too. at making some sort of pattern in this concrete. Like, if I take this into my chisel and I... They all look... Yeah, it, it's... It's so dark that it's hard to see any of these patterns, but... Well, no, it shows up better. Okay. Okay. So I think that what I'll do is I will, uh, I'll connect the pumpkins with some sort of texture. And then I'll scroll through the textures and see if there's anything kind of neat to... Yeah, that looks... So what does Twisted look like? That's kind of neat. No. Definitely not. Mm, no. Nah. -uh. Ooh. Maybe. I like that it's a connected texture. Mm. Nice and smooth. No. Mm. It looks like it's off-centered. You 
Yes, I know that this is vastly, vastly important. This is exactly what you want to see. But I can't make out the dang... Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay, how does it look if I make an intersection? Yeah, let's go with that. Speed decorating. Yes, and now we see the slightly annoying fact that because our pumpkins disrupt it, we get little, like, we move in fits and starts almost. But it's okay. have one basis of our decorating decided upon. Let's just keep on placing. Yeah, I think that'll make a nice pretty square grid pattern across the floor. And then we can decide on something to fill in the center with. Circular sounds like kind of promising. No, no. Celtic? Maybe. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay. So, that's what our floor is going to look like. It's going to be squares of this. What do we want our walls to look like? First of all, first of all, we decide that, uh, yes, this is in fact our floor. The walls will be one space outside of it. So they are going to be one space outside of the chunks, but that doesn't matter. There's not going to be any machines sitting on the wall. What are we going to build the walls out of? I think these blue factory blocks are the prettiest of the factory blocks. So... Let's like let's take these really pretty blue ones. And kind of start with that. There's the chunk edges. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. there. So let's make like a foundation layer right there. And yeah, I will go all the way around. Unnecessary when part of it's going to be hidden by the cliff face, but we might as well be thorough, just in case we excavate further in the future. Which means this wall's got to go. that. Is that right? No, it's right there. Oh, I dug a bit too far then. We'll restore that cliff face. No, that is exactly right, in fact. Never mind, I'm crazy. Why does my floor extend that far? I miscounted my floor. Derp. This whole time I've had one offset on my floor. 
tragedy, Shane. Ah, uh, shoot, that means I need to move the whole pumpkin grid, don't I? Well, you know what? You know what? Why am I so weighed down? This weighs 10 kilograms per piece? Well, the more you know. But you know what? Since I need to move all the pumpkins, then, this is an opportunity to just put them in my storage and uh, switch to glowstone for my decoration lighting. And uh, that would mean that... Let's just make that black concrete, yeah. That would mean that... Um, that I have some jack-o'-lanterns built up for the abyss trip already. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's a potential upside right there. And it doesn't particularly matter if this is unlit for the moment, simply because it'll it'll uh, it'll be okay until we're, we're close enough to it that things shouldn't spawn. Never mind. It would be vastly preferable to have this area lit. Never mind. Well, let's hurry up and fix our derp. count horizontally too? No, horizontally is the spacing is fine. It was only it was only a one the one the one axis that I was wrong. Yeah, I need to make some torches real quick. Or even better, I need to do this properly. So, let's grab the glowstone. What do we want it to look like? What would go well with... These would look fantastic if the textures weren't wrong. Bismuth tiles is what I usually use. I'll just use that. So... Take out nine at a time so we don't get overweight. And floor starts here now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. A nice kind of base layer of the wall, a kind of baseboard type looking thing. Next, I'm just going to take and switch it to the ice, 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 plain blue tiles. Now, should I design some sort of repeating pattern for this? And how high should this go? I'd say... Two levels above the ground level. Yeah, right, like right there. Like right there. Maybe three above, yeah. Because then I can have a door right here. And I can have a lag spike right the ah. Uh... And I had a couple of doors, didn't I? Yeah. I wonder if these are compatible with pressure plates. It doesn't particularly matter, but. Mm hmm. That works. And yeah, let's get some fill blocks. These are just to fill in the majority of the gap, just to keep it from becoming spawnable. I'll fill in the top layer with dirt or sand or whatever looks best.
we can think of this as insulation, I suppose. And I need some just plain torches to throw down. Honestly, I should always have a stack on it of, of torches on me anyway. Regardless of whether I actually need them or not. Let me, did I pick that up from a monster or something? But yes, we have wonderfully passed a night without any death. So that's always a positive. And yeah, I can build some stairs, I believe, now. Stairs aren't incredibly expensive. Not if you're just going to build the uh, wood ones. So I can just lay those out right there. Hmm, that's unfortunate. If I place you down on the opposite side, will you? Yeah, but then they're gonna be uneven, yeah. Okay. Can I make plain old wooden doors? No, not looking at like it. I can make iron doors. But I wouldn't want to make them. I'd want to go and steal them from a ship. Regardless, what I'm picking up here is that these doors are only useful for one wide passageways. I guess I'll keep them in case I ever need to do that. But yes, they aren't good for two wide passageways. Well. Back to just laying out a wall. And I'm going to need to go pick up some more. Some more supplies. Let's make the uh, top of it. Yeah. And maybe the cornerstones as well. The corner pillars. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, baby. this should be sand instead which I need to go and pick up a ton of sand for the for the um, for the coke oven yes if I can remember words it would be helpful so uh, let me just show you the quickest way I know to mine sand I think the I think the sugarcane farm is big enough so yeah you Mine down as low as you can go. You put your torches in your offhand. And you boop boop. Ancient Minecraft trick. Oldest trick in the book. And that'll just get you tons of lovely sand. Plain sand. I forgot to turn Discord off. Well... Could have sworn I turned Discord off. Eh, well, it doesn't particularly matter. But yes, that will just get us a little bit of sand for our... That's unfamiliar to us. Why is that unfamiliar? Because this is not sand. This is the mysterious stuff that the beach is made out of. Wait. Geologist? I thought I had... 
I know that one of the skill books I got, like, what was it called? Uh, Geology 101. But yeah, I read that one. Oh, yeah, and, and we should see what books we have to look forward to. I think we've got Metalworking Handbook 2 and 3, and these are the new ones. Redstone Engineering, Carpentry 101, and Electrical Engineering. Yeah. Well. So, never mind. We, in fact, need to mine sand the stupid way, because... This beach is made out of stupid sand. That is not sand. Well, I guess the good news is that we can mine it nice and deep. So we can gather up more than we should rightly think so if we were just flattening out the beach. And I don't need all that much of it, really. Not for, uh, not for just filling out the landscape that I've done terrible things to. Yeah, that's probably sufficient. Well, uh, can we at least use this, like, to make glass or something? Sure. Oh, except I can't put it in the refractory because I can't hold on to it, so I have to put it in the smelter. Yeah, it really sucks when sand has mystified you to the point you can't even hold on to it. Really need to work on that old caveman brain of mine. Yeah, see? So this is not sand. This is sand. Hmm. That's probably... Honestly, it's not necessary in the first place. But... This is the frivolity episode. Yes bask in the joyous frivolity of this wonderful decorating and landscaping. Is this not the gameplay that you came for? Yeah. The pattern needs to be broken up with something, I think. Like, this... This gets a little bit... Maybe if I make pillars of the... I think I had a spare... Like if I... Oop, not that. Maybe. No, let's... Okay, so... Maybe if I go like... Okay, first of all, let's start from the door so that the door is kind of framed fully. And then how about one, two, three, four, five? That's a bit wide. That almost looks like there should be a window in the center of that. What would it look like if I... Yeah, it kind of has a, a framing effect, too. Hmm. Well, for now, let's... Let's just, yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah, that might be a nice pattern. A nice kind of... Uh, Large blue plates walls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm digging it. And some of those can be turned into windows, too. 
on sides of the house that have a view. Okay, yeah. It's coming together. It's starting to come together. Huh. This glowstone weighs a lot less than this glowstone. Neat. Do any of them weigh less? Not really. Still, that is an option. Okay, maybe I don't need pumpkins to go down to the abyss. I can just get and chisel the glowstone into the cheese. Because while one kilogram per isn't exactly convenient, it's not exactly inconvenient either. It just means that lighting up the abyss and doing heavy mining are going to be separate tasks. I would have to put my glowstone stack away before I before I started like mining some of the things in the abyss. Okay. That's doable. That's an option. Okay. So never mind waiting on the jack-o'-lanterns, but now I've kind of got myself going on this project and I'm committed to it. Unfortunately, if I had realized that I could make glowstone that much lighter, we would not be decorating this episode. But now, this is a decoration episode. And if you don't like it, then you can feel free to skip this one. I don't blame you. you I will do like a run-through of what I have wrought at the opening of next episode. You'll be fine. Go away if you don't want to see me derping around and debating myself. Should I get any use out of these Futura blocks? Nah. And also, can I chisel these into anything? No. How do they look as a window? Not bad, but I think maybe I'd like to buy some of the fancier ones from the Normans. I, I guess that having a source of jack-o'-lanterns isn't bad just to have... Well, no, it isn't cheaper lighting, because glowstone is super easy to mine in the first level of the abyss, since I have... A silk touch pick. Hmm. Well, I have a pumpkin patch for reasons that are suddenly invalid. Yeah, let's buy a stack of windows and for once not sell them back immediately. Here's my money pouch. There it is. Yeah, that didn't cost us a terrible amount of money. And let's see, like, if any of these windows look good with our wall pattern. First of all, let's try the plain white. Yeah, it looks it looks kind of okay. But I think maybe one of the colored variants would contrast better. Like maybe not this one, but the plain yellow one. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Blends a bit too well, maybe. And I think that these circular ones are meant to be used in sets of four. In sets of two, I think they kind of derp out a little bit. Yeah. It's very pretty, but it's not... It doesn't form the multi-block pattern it does when you have four of them. When you have four of them, they go like... They make this very pretty kind of Eye of God type thing.
Definitely not. Ew. Yeah, I think plain white is the way to go in these. And I like them a little bit more than I liked the... So yeah, I guess these are just turning into windows. Maybe not all of them. Maybe just some of them. Eh. Eh. Hmm. Does it look a little bit better if I make it a four tall window? Well, let's, let's try that over on one of our completed sections. No, it looks a bit better with it contained within the framing. Let's not make all of them windows. Not when they are up against a wall. Let's just have it as an option for the ones that are facing something a bit more uh, photogenic. Let's put that away. And it is time to go and get some more building materials. Also, any time that you're doing something like this where you are finding a large source of something, like all these hundreds of factory blocks that we're getting right now, you kind of want to take a look at them and you want to go, can I use that for anything? And first of all, let's try our amulet out again. So it's just turning nighttime now. If we boop the amulet, yep, back to day. But yes, anytime you're getting like hundreds of something, even if it's for some another project, you want to look at it. And it doesn't look like these have any use. But remember that these things chisel into a million different blocks, too. So you have to consider, like, I think the base one is always the upper left one. And yeah, that has a use. Each of these factory blocks is worth a little bit more than half an ingot of iron and copper once we build a crusher. And we are going to be using a lot of iron and copper in this age. So... These ships, I mean it when I say they are a mining target. It ain't just their cargo. It's the ships themselves that we can mine. And not just for these tasty decor blocks that we can make out of them. But these ships are resources for us to exploit. So yes... All of the, uh, well, we're, I'll, I'll tell you right now, the current layer of the abyss that we're pondering a trip into pretty soon, that is going to grant us an infinite source of iron and redstone with netherrack on the side. But it, we won't have an easy source of copper. Copper would still be something that, if we didn't have a source like this ship, we would need to go digging in the ground, we would need to go diving around. Well, the amounts of copper that we're going to need, we would need to start doing strip mining. 
and we would need to properly start like making actual mines if we were digging it up out of the earth. And with all the things going on in this pack, that is a tough task. That is a pretty big ask. Like, you need to actually reinforce the ceilings and all that. And yes, we might as well pick up the uh, iron side walls while we're here. But... If we can just feed ship parts into a crusher, if we can work our way up to a crusher before we deplete the easy sources of copper blocks within these cargo holds, which is doable, then we'll have a very nice source of copper that will be stocking us lots of iron at the same time. So yes, the crusher is probably the first big industrial device we want to build, simply because it will get us over the, uh, the copper pinch. With a little bit of basic automation, we will be able to basically mine out a couple hundred blocks from one of these ships, chuck it in a crusher, and then come back to a nice bunch of uh, to a nice bunch of iron and copper for us to exploit. And hopefully that should be enough to easily get us to the point that we can start using um Immersive Engineering's excavators and mining us all the resources that we need. The true uh, beginning of a post-scarcity amount of resources. Maybe I just need to have either janky doors or a one wide passageway. I guess in the meantime, just kind of, yeah, wait, now that's working? But you had a stupid thing in the center before. Why? Game, you are being mysterious at me and I don't like it, but okay. I have a decent looking front door. I'll accept it. For now.
actually pretty close to having enough walls for just one go, I guess. Now, what do I want to build the roof out of? Hmm. I mean, I guess I could... Oh, yeah, that's, that's right, I have... You know what? I have a lever now. I have levers now. I don't need to finagle around that redstone torch anymore. I can just take my wonderful lever. And just let it flow. Yeah. Now, does that produce just any one type of glass? Does that produce Minecraft glass, or does that produce some sort of tinker glass? That produces clear glass. Hmm. Do you chisel into anything? No, you're just clear glass. Hmm. I don't know if a glass roof would look good on this. In, in any case, that would be a lot of sand mining. When I already have a lot of mining ahead of me just to get the, uh, the concrete for this entire thing. So no, I don't think glass roof would do. I mean, I did just reveal that stairs are cheap now. It's just going to require a ton of wood. Which, we can get a ton of wood. Okay, let's make like an exit to the base. Right, yeah. Should have had F7 mode on to make sure that my, my floor is evenly lit in here, too. Yeah. And let's give that a nice doer. And we can put a window above that, too, I suppose. Mark this one as kind of visually distinct. No, we don't want it to go all the way up. Those don't look good as pillars. They look more good as framing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe this one will work better as an exit. But, eh, it doesn't particularly matter. Oh, right, I need to empty out the fancy pants, too. I forgot that they're loaded up with stuff from the ship. That's kind of why it's convenient to have the mining, the, the logging operation on the water. Loading this thing up with three stacks of wood at a time is the maximum we can load it with before it would overload the output. And I do want to make sure that I don't do that just because I know I'm going to be prone to forgetting that I left this thing on. You know, let's just load that thing up as high as it'll go. And let it go. I'll be right back one second.
I think I'm going to be editing this episode, adding a little bit of time lapse to it anyway. And yes, I am confident enough in the Great Enlightenment now that I can just leave without pausing Minecraft because I know that I'm not very likely to be attacked by anything. And we might as well leave it running just so that the village progresses. So, what was I doing at the moment? I was emptying out the fancy pants. We need to... chisel those iron blocks into a more storage-appropriate form. So, these really super fancy lamps, I don't think these have any use for anything, but I know that they're from a mod, so I want to keep them just in case. Gold apples are always a keeper. Uh, didn't I already have gears in storage somewhere? Yeah, yeah. I should just kind of, yeah, all the slots are full, so I should just kind of... Da, 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 da. No, none of those are... Okay. Da, da. And let's just... And the other one was bronze, right? Yes. And we should check the store to see if there's anything new and good in there. Yeah. I think this is mostly the same as the NPC market. Except maybe a little bit more limited in some of them. But yes. I think that all those... Um, the one trader who we have in the blood tank, I think that all his goods are sold here. You know, computers, dyes, trains, and tech. If there was anything new, it would be in trains and tech, but no. Wait, requires chapter 5? But I'm on chapter 5. It must mean that it requires one of the books. <sighs> but it can't tell us what it means. We have to guess. Communication issues, the bane of any relationship. Alright. What is spawning? Okay, the Great Enlightenment is possibly a little bit disrupted right now. Yeah, let's. Oh, you know what's happening? They're spawning on the ceiling. That's what's happening. Yeah. And the church, too. I forgot that they decorated the church, so I need to work on that. Need to give that the old once over. It is very pretty. I like the carpet. There's the problem. That's your problem right there. But yes, just for the sake of my own sanity and my faith in the Great Enlightenment, let's get some of this wood that we left on the processor and... Let's make a big mess of stairs. And let's just see. I'm going to need more than that. Let us just see if we can give a coat to our top layer. Yeah, I'm going to need way more than that. Hmm. 
Actually, I don't need these because I have the parkour ability. Yeah, I can just... Yep. Hop. And away we go. So... No, I don't want it facing that way. This is going to be a pure middle roof. I want it that way. Yep. Stairs, why you no cooperate? thunk and then it stopped producing buzzsaw noises is this thing are you you're out of saw the sawmill is out of saw well we ain't getting through today without doing some sort of cog dance looks like that figures Should I just throw these out? Yeah, let's just throw those out. Put those in storage. Even though I've now determined that glowstone will be the way of the abyss. Throw that out. There. Nice, clean inventory once again. Cleanish, And let's do the old saw dance. So, diorite with more diorite. Let's get it from there. And then, and yes, since that first layer is up, we should be spawn safe once more. And remind me, with saw blades, 1345, yeah, okay, obsidian is the way to go with saw blades. So, eight of those, eight of those, four of those, with four of those, eight of those. Eight of those, and finally, eight of those turned into these. It ain't so bad when you're only doing one. It's the fact that they don't stack, so I need to do this over and over and over and over again that I have the problem with. I honestly don't really begrudge the recipe. I don't begrudge the resources. I begrudge the grudgery. And I will be doing it as little as I can until I figure out some means of doing it easier. Somehow. I don't know how. I'll find a way, damn it. Okay. Yeah, that's enough for a little bit more.
and these are growing back fairly well. So yeah, I think we're producing wood fast enough for our own slow ash construction speed. I've uh, I've been running the um, the pit burner just while I've been building to uh, keep the charcoal stockpile building. I think that I'm just gonna build a dang proper fire starter. It's cheap enough now. So flint, steel, yeah, tier one tool rods. The only thing that's remotely at all rare or expensive is the little piece of iron ore because. I tend not to keep my iron as ore. Oh, and a single one of these. God, I hope I have enough. All right. Not have enough wood. Needed a bigger wood farm for this project. Yeah. Yeah. Well, honestly, okay. It's not looking bad from the outside. It'll probably look a bit worse once it's going up into a, like a really fine point, but if if I could functionally just flatten it off now, it wouldn't look bad. But no, we need it to be a funnel for functional purposes. Oh yeah, and I had some more lumber in here. Okay. So it's fine. Yeah. 
Never mind. Panic averted. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. I need some wheat for actual crafting purposes because I've been using tar bales to soak up uh, soak up the excess of wood tar and turn it into yet more charcoal. And to make those tar bales, I need some straw. And to make straw, I need to go and farm the field. Yep. Excitement. Something different. That is equally boring. Ah, shoot. You know what? I could have been making... I could have been making... Uh, the roof out of oak or redwood. Yeah, instead of instead of what I'm doing here with the jungle. Well, it's too late. We're invested now. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting more black asphalt, and I'm just leaving the yellow asphalt as a stripe so that these ships are still distinguishable as the barges for when I come back to mine out their precious metals. Because that's an easy way to distinguish these from other ships, like these ones and these ones and these ones. You search for this runway on the top. So just leaving the yellow stripe, that will mark these as resource depositories for future expeditions. somewhere back here. So we'll set up the armor stand over here. Sucks. That freaking sucks. We're so close, but we need to go and get another ship. Oh, that sucks.
Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to put a filter on all four spots or if just this one should work. Either way, this is finally approaching done. Yep, it looks as bad as I feared. Big pointy nipple roof. But it's what we need for what we need to do right now because uh, there is a mod called Advanced Chimneys. And what we would need to move pollution around with a more reasonably shaped roof would be these pumps. And it can be made out of any material, but I can't build them right now. If I go through all the pumps, eh, well, there it is. Yeah. So they need redstone repeaters, and redstone repeaters I can't build right now. That is something that I would need the Abyss book for. And even then, it's a really stupidly expensive recipe. So it'll be a little while before we can make... Oh, I had some here. Uh, it'll be a while before we can make reasonably shaped roofs. And move pollution around as we please. I should keep my hands on those until I... Oh, yes. But yeah... It looks pretty good from the inside. I don't like how the lighting goes up on the... But, yep. Yeah. We just don't look up. We just don't look up except to assess how our pollution is moving. So, now we need to make a diamond filter. And it's relatively simple. We just need some iron bars. Yep. Then a couple of these. Oh, you can tell I am tired. I was just pushing because I wanted this to be done. Oh, we're going to need a lot. Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to sell some iron to the village, wasn't I? Well, I picked up the rest of the iron sides from... from uh, the mining target, so... I suppose that once I... Yeah, let's... I think I needed 12 in total, right? If I go to... Yeah, that's 12. So yeah, I'll sell the rest of those to the village real quick. What I should do is I should break up a couple hundred iron. I should break up a couple hundred iron and bring that just so that they have the stock for the entire walls project, but... Eh... I've already had a lot of repetitious things in this evening. I don't want to break up a ton of iron blocks. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that later. And yes, let's also... While we're thinking of it, yeah, this this wetsuit must be insulated or something because it's causing a lag spike. And also because just look how hot I am. Okay, is it... Let's take... The, yeah, and we immediately start to cool down when we take it off. So if you want to be toasty, why wear that advanced wetsuit. Let's, let's buy a couple stacks of wool. Because we're going to need it. Ugh. It's the Great Pyramid of Cheese. 
because it's essentially cheesing the way the pollution moves. I guess that it's a good thing that we built so differently than everyone else. The kind of alien style that we've built for ourselves fits the completely stupid alien roof. Ah, uh, shoot. We need to pick up some diamond blocks from the abyss, too. Yeah, we broke all our diamond blocks up. Well, that's a real easy trip. Oh, I'm exhausted. I don't know how long it's been. It's just been too long. Let's pick up a couple more. What? Oh, shit! Air! Forgot wearing tank. Shoot, I had it in my inventory. I had it in my inventory. I should have just put it on. I panicked and derped. Well, back to two lives. Because I was too tired to think. That's embarrassing. That's an indication I should have put the game away a long time ago. You know? Okay, so let's... Yeah, let's swim down. We can reach the sugar cane down there. So, we get to there. And then we swim out. We pick up as much of our stuff as we can. We dart back and we see if we picked up our tank. We didn't. So, another trip. We have picked up everything except for the thing we actually need, haven't we? That's just how it be. Is it? Is my lighting as high as it'll go? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there's tank. Now I just need mask. Mask is going to be the last damn thing I find, isn't it? Because that's just how it be. I I'm sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm A, exhausted still, and B concentrating to the highest extent of my tiny little pea brain. Yeah, I think I've literally picked up everything except for the mask. Maybe I should just 
go back home and buy a new mask. That sounds like a plan. I am so sorry. That was stupid. That was sheerest dumb stupidity. Mm. Oh no, I'm missing also the iron bars and the wool. But that's fine. We'll just get new. Yeah, new rebreather. Oh, and my armor. That is enough for me to go back. Okay, let's also pick up a little bit of glowstone to carry around to use as a flashlight. That was an unusual thing I thought I saw in the... Oh yeah, also I need to toss one of those out, I guess. all the stuff. Yeah, we lost the fancy pants, too. There's the fancy pants. in the dark against Blackstone. I think we're, we might just never get some of this stuff back. Really need a better flashlight. Oh good, the hammer. So we're missing the pants, the boots. <clears throat> Did they maybe drop all the way down here? I'm lost in the abyss. Always a lovely situation. Just get beneath the portal and dig up. That's how you get unlost. Missing the bucket. I can't make a waterfall to climb up more easily. Ah, that sucks. Why 
Where the hell did I? <sighs> okay. We're going home. I'm too tired to brain. We'll just make some new armor to replace what we lost. At least we got the fancy pants back. Those are honestly the most expensive right now because chests. Okay. So, gonna need some prismarine. Just kind of there. Okay, so we need a new chisel, which should be made out of hard diamond. We need new legs, and we need new boots. And that's what we really need. And I'm out of bones. No, I'm not. Armor trim. And melt down some steel to make some new plates. And that'll have new armor sets for us. At least I'm good enough to remember what went into those armor sets. Hmm. Why didn't they stack up together? Bizarre. Pick up some new tripes. Are we out of tripes? I think we might be out of tripes. Well, rather than buy some new ones, yeah, no, I don't have a stack of wheat. And let's go buy some new tripes. This episode won't end. And it's largely my fault because I decided I, I didn't remember to put on stuff after suffering heat stroke from it. Seriously though, what's up with this? Why is this wetsuit so well insulated? When the other one is not. Okay. Yeah. Let's just buy a bunch. Refill the tripe stock. That'll last for a good long while. It's good for the economy. Hmm. Did they upgrade that building? Yeah, that's a... Uh fully upgraded carpenter's house, I do believe. What are they doing at the moment? Banners? Does that mean they've upgraded the fort? They are in the middle of upgrading the fort. Yeah. Neat. Yep. 
and we need to remember to put the damn tank back on before getting in the water. Shut the door for emphasis. Oh, I need to melt more steel than that. Derp. Okay. Mm, let's start rebuilding those... Those, um... Yeah, those. That's about the best I can do for description right now. Let's rebuild those. The iron bars, yes. Okay, and then bar. Just where? Game, game, respond to me, game. Thank you. Need more. There we go. That should rebuild our armor. For the most part, we, we're also going to need to put diamonds on it. Four diamonds in. Yeah, let's just grab wool. Diamond engineers. Diamond filter. Yep. And this works real simply. What you do is you put it in place. up on a place where pollution will be going. You give it wool, and it will slowly burn the wool and use it to nullify any pollution that crosses its path. That's it. That's the big secret. Hmm. Yeah, the way things are shaped... It might need to be that I need to put four of them up there. Well, regardless, let's let's put something in the smelter because the smelter is our biggest pollution producer. I don't know, some more seared bricks. That's always a good standby product. And when we see a pollution, yeah, there's some up there. And it is gradually working its way towards the center. Not as fast as it could be. But you see that every time it does move up, it moves inwards. And it's being forced inwards towards the center. It'll be a bit of a slow process, but so long as we don't like have a diesel generator running in here, this should be enough to keep the room clear. got the tank set back. Okay. Yep. 
And see, it just kind of slowly worms its way over there. And I think that if the pollution starts piling up, the pressure should increase, and that should force it to move towards the center faster. So we're just going to need to generate enough pollution that it piles up in there. And if it's a problem, it's a problem I'll solve in the, in the morrow. Um, uh, I am so tired. Good night, everybody.